I think I agree perfectly with Winston Amwa. Women, hmm, they are the law in every home. When you bring in a law, it must be subjected to their law. And I'm telling you for a fact, men sacrifice a lot because you can't beat the law. Women, the CEOs of homes, men sacrifice. And I agree with Winston on this one. To my opinion, women, most of them will sacrifice on specific reasons. One, because they don't have the money. It is the man who has the money to control the house. Two, because there are children with the relationship or marriage, let me sacrifice so that you go on. But at the point that the woman is having a lot, there's no charge, so I can go single. Nothing happens to me. They will never sacrifice. The women are not quiet. They are not quiet. We're just listening. Because we know that it will go round and round and round, only end up with the reality that women sacrifice more, so much more. I can't even start counting. In as much as you would want to allow us to have our way and think that you have created your peace, we still have to put in so much for that peace to work. We still have to put in so much to coexist. We have to put in so much when it comes to taking care of you, the man, the children, the home. There's so much at stake for a woman in marriage. Please, this is your argument this morning, Winston. I'm sorry. Let's end it now because there's so much. The sacrifice. The sacrifices from women. I beg your pardon. Good morning. By virtue of the magnitude of sacrifices, magnitude of sacrifices, the indebtedness of the word sacrifice, men's magnitude over over exceed the magnitude of that of the woman. Generally, um, women tend to sacrifice to make relationship work. But I will personalize mine because I know myself, I love watching football. On weekend, before I got married, on weekend, I'll go to my friend's house from early kickoff, say 11 a.m. till God knows when. Let's say 10 p.m. I'll be there. And my house and my friend's house, like we share work, boys, boys, we go there. You will stay there till evening. You eat there, cook, do everything there. But immediately I got married, I told myself, hey, Gerson, this got to stop. And I stopped. There's no argument. The kind of sacrifice the women have, have done and they are continuing to do it for us, it's, it's not debatable. We can't compare it. Your people, I know we still in the room are just trying to... There's no concrete argument um, here, yeah, so please, don't be emotional. Inwardly, they know there's no sacrifice that we can do as compared to what you guys are doing. God bless all women. We love you. I just have a little feedback. For okay. the gentleman who was doing Boys Boys, got married, okay. and he said that he, he stopped. And that's sacrifice. Yes. I'm just saying that he grew up. That's no. all. I mean, can you still be married and be doing boys' boys like you used to when you are not married? How is that sacrifice? Ah, sacrifice for your own benefits. Whose benefits? You're growing. Who told you that the boys' boys was not? You just his measure it. Ah. You you is know it? that you're now, growing. Now you're beginning to think for him. Ah, there's I'm a not. there's a principle. I said yeah, feedback. And the determination of whether or not that's growing or is purely your own. Yes. Do you get on part No, I point? think he should be grateful <laughs> that what? a woman came into his life and then he realized <laughs> that some of the things that because you. Seriously, Press. for how long can you be no, doing no, no, boys no. boys? With, with respect, there's nothing wrong with boys boys. We are social beings. Yes. There are boys boys that is very, very intellectually stimulating. Did you, did, were they you listening boys, to him? Boys, take your time. He goes I'm there from that, morning oh, to evening. Time. They cook, they the, do everything yes. together. There are boys boys that ends up with wonderful business opportunities and all of that. It's not just about games. Because cooking, discussing, and actually helps sharpen iron, sharpening iron. Raymond. I'm just elevating Raymond. the point that he you understand the He described his boys' boys. Yeah, Don't bring any other things I'll into this. take your time, this. man. Let's go with what he said. Okay, no, I no, agree no. with you. I, I'm sacrificing. I'm not. <laughs> I agree with you. Exactly, you see? Yes. But see, Raymond makes a point. So the man mm -hmm. had a certain lifestyle. Yeah. Which he's had to stop. Because of his relationship. But as Which for the woman, she didn't stop anything else that she was... Perfect definition of sacrifice. Was... 
Oh, if you if you if you allow me. Eh, now who there? You when you start your, we don't stop you. If you allow if me, you... <laughs> no, we will activate the phone lines very yeah. soon. Amavi. In fact, I'll even stop talking. So no, you come I'm and mafia me, and then they will say, "Won't <laughs> you allow me? Won't you allow me?" Like I'm the loudest. So yeah, these are all ways of debating. Yeah. So let me make. Yeah, using ways and means. <laughs> Go ahead. Let me make the point. Look, I have sat in discussions and I've met people that we are talking, you know, chit chatting, or, or probably watching a football m- match, and someone says, "Oh." Oh, this is my friend Winston. Oh, you know him. I mean, uh, last time he was, you know, moderating a discussion. So, really, I even have a program coming up. How about you moderate it for me? That's true. These things happen. That's how social networks are built. That's how social net- <laughs> networks Nobody are built. Nobody sleeps their bedroom and builds social networks. Look, it's I've, not everything online. <laughs> I've, 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 had people, I've had people who have walked up to me and have mm-hmm. said, oh, could you actually, uh, you know, help me do this and that? That's just because they... I uh, saw you with a friend of theirs. So the point is that when the boys do boys' boys, I know a lot of women don't like boys' boys. See how you're struggling to justify I am not struggling this. to justify anything. Why? Have I, ha, am I stammering? I mean, I've heard you probably. <laughs> mm-hmm. I've heard you probably. But hey, you see where so, we're hearing the same thing. You're saying struggling. <laughs> Look, um, I'm not struggling to defend this already. Well, cut up for like, what, two minutes? Uh, let me take away the stammering part. And I apologize <laughs> to all those who stammer. Mm-hmm. Now let me continue. Look, so the boys meet and they discuss these things. And businesses come out of it. <laughs> That's one thing you don't understand. The man is is is, is done a huge sacrifice. Yes. Because that was his lifestyle. Mm-hmm. Boys, boys. And he and has changed. Chill, <laughs> if you you were cooking for yourself mm-hmm. and you have just increased the number of people you're cooking for. Ingredients. What, you just increase ingredients. ingredients. It's what not you love. style, oh, not nothing else. It is what just you love. Increase ingredients. You're just doing what you have love. Have you seen this thing before? They ask you what you want to eat. Mm-hmm. Then you make the mistake of saying, oh, well, I want something. And immediately they don't like it. And so, no, no, we are eating this. It's a sacrifice you make. You could not continue. No man I know will continue and say, no, I insist on it. Raymond, I think you're in the minority. Oh, oh, it's not true. Because a lot of women rather sacrifice their preference. They would ask the man what you want to eat. And often is what the man says. That's why when you don't say anything, the woman... Be no, 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 no. It's no, true. No, no. On, so you on, are in the on, minority. But I want to but share this message. Let me, let me see. Hold on. In me, in my case, what I know, when you, when they, when you ask, they want to ask you, what will you eat? My response is always, what is there? Because whatever you say, <laughs> if, if the thing is not there. No, yes, the thing is not there. No. How can you eat it? it yes. Is normally, and listen, we can activate the phone lines just on this, and you hear oh, the no, women we'll do the say, sacrifice. "Is what the man says." No. That's what. Uh, that's what you we win, all you end up oh, eating. Okay, we agree. Yes, the message. Agree, you never, if we don't sacrifice for you to win this thing, we will never Here's move on. I'm not asking you to sacrifice for me to win. <laughs> I'm making a sound <laughs> argument here. Here's a message. It says, please tell the guys their lack of bravery is not our fault. Hey. They should count how many single mothers are in the world. This situation is created mostly by men who abandoned respons- uh, responsible of their uh, responsible of their act. Where is their sacrifice? The woman and mostly girls are left with no choice but to put a hold on their education in order to care for the for the child. Here's point number two: Everyone sacrifices for a better tomorrow. Winston should know that he going out to work to bring money home is for his home to have what they need. The woman will sacrifice her job to stay home for the peace of her home. We sacrifice to gain and not to lose. Money can be lost and gained back, but time once gone, it's gone forever. Has anybody paid, uh, what do you call it, their rent for a time before? <laughs> I've not heard it before. That you stayed home uh, throughout, you, you wake the, up you in the morning, the, you, 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 you held you, the child for 24 hours and paid the rent at the end of the day. Did you just hear that? We sacrificed to gain. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, of course. I mean, this yeah. is purely the <laughs> our side of the story. Wow. <laughs> we sacrificed again. Yeah. Well, we, can we activate the phone lines? Because you are the one running the yes. show. Yes, yes. You know, like yeah. we sacrifice. Yeah. You know, you know, like we said, if we don't sacrifice, yeah. Yeah. no, my, we will not end today. My, my, my teacher said that uh, in an argument, she has the final word. Yeah. If you don't let her have the final word, the argument will continue. And this is what my friend Efu Jackbasu sent me. The same way you are trying to tell them and they disagree, let them win, bro. They will never agree. <laughs> <laughs> it's an opportunity to know about a man's behavior. But as usual, Bosu, madam, you don't like peace. <laughs> hey, let them win. And the night says, does he know what the woman had to give up to? That's what I've been saying. She says, boys, boys, say. Uh, she think, sent it to me, you, boys, boys, say. How can you grow with boys, say, boys? Say what you've also given her. Ah, the perfect definition of sacrifice is what the man has explained. <laughs> You were giving up. Yeah, so the explanation you have asked, you have not given us any explanation. You are just telling us that I used to cook, and I'm still cooking. That's not <laughs> sacrifice. You define t- sacrifice. 
the standard is here. When we define it, all your examples will fit into the definition. Exactly. So, end of discussion. Okay, so here's one <laughs> yeah. from Sefam. Sefam says, hmm, hardly do you get a woman brooding over giving up personal things for the betterment of her family. With us women, these things come effortless, effortlessly. Again, we have to appreciate the fact that sacrifices are relative to each setting, each relationship, and where we all want to be or go. Imagine a woman ignoring the fact that the children are not feeling well and just concentrating on spending time with the boys. Before, before we get on to the phone, let me just read what uh, messages that, uh, you know, um, Jojo sent me from Twitter. So this is on Twitter. So remember, you have them too. It says, men do sacrifice a lot. Joseph had a choice to abort Jesus before marrying Mary, but he mm -hmm. sacrificed. Yeah. Let's ask somebody here. Let's start yeah. it. <laughs> Our Lord and Savior would have never been possible. Uh, then that's from Elinam oh, underscore boys F. Boys will always be boys. Now, How do you even know that it's a boy? Well? Uh, this is Elinam yeah. underscore yeah. F. We don't know who we the don't person even is. Know, but you conclude that it's boy. This Elinam <laughs> is a man. Uh, then we have a leader of, Af leader of underscore Africa. Men, because we use our time and savings to make sure everything is okay. At Agbodo Regan says, look, women do more of the sacrifice in a relationship. At Nene Newman says, I also think in terms of sacrifices in relationships, there are specific areas where both sacrifice towards the survival of the relationship. We can't point out to be one person, but both. At uh, Twitter underscore nurse says, in these modern times where men are scarce, it's the woman that sacrifices in relationships, okay? At Papi Solo says, naturally women. But in my own experience, I've sacrificed more than more and even abandoned my building project. What is unfortunate is that a woman is interested in completing her project once she has gotten on her feet. And at Frederick upon nine, says Charlie, men sacrifice a lot, just that they don't hype it, mm -hmm. as women would do with the least opportunity. Uh, don't okay? you check how we sacrifice for Mother's Day? Have we seen similar things happening on Father's Day before? In fact, I was told that Father's Day is actually could terminal the same day is World Toilet Day. <laughs> All the sacrifices we have made, even day location, they can't have an independent one for men. I mean, how on earth you, did that happen? So you're blaming the women for this one? Did now, we Kwame, send the Kwame dates? Kwame Sapawasiru <laughs> says that we are having this debate on who sacrifices more as evidence of the relationship and social deficit we have. Yeah. See, building society and family requires complementary association and not a perception of sacrifice. In my view, neither sacrifices more. In the end, rather, those who complement one another evolve the best next generation we need a mentality reset yeah he's been directed to write this and share with us afraid of the consequences of saying woman. that the men are actually sacrificing more great so let's get into the phone lines now the phone, unfair. Lines, the phone lines have been activated uh, i'll be relaxed <laughs> uh, and Mavi, please, please pick relaxed. the call so that you don't say that i am uh, you know coercing people yes. to side with me so the phone lines have been activated on zero <laughs> three zero two 216 and 055-1111-9997. Uh, you can join us also via Twitter. Use the hashtag JoySMS. And then you can join us on Facebook. Uh, I'll keep the voice notes coming. Uh, so uh, very soon we'll get onto the phone lines and get to hear from all of you, you know, who are uh, you know, telling us whether men sacrifice more than women or whether women sacrifice more than men. Maybe why? I'm getting the vibe that you're making this an inequality kind of thing. Huh. <laughs> like we're what fighting for equality. We're talking about sacrifices. The way you keep mentioning my name. Oh, <laughs> Maybe why? Because we are sacrificing for you. <laughs> I don't. I don't. We are I, don't, in the I, don't majority. Need, I don't need you to sacrifice for me. But I don't need you to. For you. I don't need. But you we're to. doing just that for you. I'm yes. okay if the majority of people think like you do. It's fine. Okay. Like the way we are being attacked right now. Mamavi, <laughs> let's pick the calls. Geoffrey is in Medina. Good morning. Good morning, morning Mamavi. How are you? Oh, very well, thank you. But listen, you have to turn down the volume on that radio set so that we don't okay. get any feedback. Thank you. Yes. Yeah, I've, I've been listening to your show since uh, 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 AM. Right. And what I want to say about a sacrifice mm -hmm. is that men do sacrifice more than women. So I clearly support the wasting and his guys at a studio. Okay, so what's so your justification? So what is it that men do that yeah, you say? So let's even use conflict resolution at home. When there, there is an issue and involving both the wife and the husband, whereby uh, the husband will, will have to sacrifice 
just for the relationship to continue. The husband does that. But if it's the turn of the woman, it is always not the case. So in, 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 in most cases, men tend, for the, for the sake of the peace, they tend to allow things to go just for the relationship to trust on. Mm. But women hardly do that. Mm. So for that cause, I would like to go with the point that men do sacrifice. They sacrifice their emotional needs, they sacrifice their mental needs, just for the relationship to continue. So that's what I, w- I would like to say. Thank you. Ayo, Geoffrey, merci, sir. Ajoa in Isle Good morning, Ajoa. Mama V. Yes, Ajoa. I Ajua. think you don't have to worry yourself. Thank you. Be down with that thing. Between them, they know that we sacrifice more than them. And I think a man who has lost his wife should be in a better position to talk about it. During this Tuesday, I was having some issues with my husband, so I decided to do that. We leave home every morning around today. That day, because I didn't get up, they, they go to work, they left the house around 7.30. Mm. 7.30 in the morning. It has never happened. But because I decided not to wake up, relax, I'll leave it for him, do it and see how, what I go to every day. Because I was away. Mm. Mama, I wake up around 4, prepare their meal. We all go to work. After work, I'll go and pick them up. I'll go and drop them to school before I go to work. Look, the sacrifices we make, mm. even to give them, to carry this nine months. Look, look, when you say it's your money, it's your money. Whatever you are doing now, if your wife is not there, you still do it. You still buy the position. You still pick the case. So we play a better role in their life. They relax. They know. They, look, I'm telling you, they are just pulling your leg. Relax. They know. There are men that they can't do without their wife. Mm-hmm. Call a man who has lost his wife, and he will be in a better position to tell you the role we play. Mm. Forget about money. No, we work for the money. We do this. Look, the role we play, they can't. Leave them alone, and you will see. Thank you, Ajua. You said it all. Ajua from East Ligon. Thank you. William. William is in Gomwa. Good morning, William. Good morning, Mamazi. Yes, William. Good morning. How are you? Oh, very well. Thank you. You? Ah, thank God. Oh. Nice. God day with you. Nice. Uh, where's Don? Oh? Yes, uh, William. Uh, didn't the old boy uh, tell you the secret? You never argue with a woman because you never win. Oh, yes. That one we know. Uh-huh. <laughs> but you know something? Tell me. When you enter your house, do you step on the wall or you step on the ground? Ground. When people are looking at the beauty of the house, do they look at the wall or they look at the ground? Wall. Good. Yet, move the ground from there. Will the house stand? Never. Men are the foundation of every family. You see how they are stepping on us? Mm-hmm. Who will do that kind of sacrifice? No argument to my brother, but we don't argue about it, though, because if we do, we won't win. But they know that the most people who sacrifice, who can, who, which woman can do the sacrifice Jesus did? Mm. But Jesus is a man. Yes. Uh, Mama, I will come for some Abobita. Why? <laughs> you yeah, will sacrifice well, don't worry. <laughs> a but woman, we a woman so. carried Jesus, <laughs> just so you know. Kofi is in Kumasi. Good morning, Kofi. Yeah, good morning. How are you? Very well, thank you, Kofi. How are you? Yeah, I'm fine. This is Kofi Bajumba from Kumasi. You see, a responsible husband will not think of he sacrificing more or sacrificing anything. Likewise, a responsible wife will also not think of sacrificing more or sacrificing anything because they are all uh, doing their responsibilities. It is only when one does not want to you know, take a responsibility. That is where the person will say, I'm sacrificing more. So, no, so woman or the man, nobody sacrifices more than the other. Thank you. Thank you very much, uh, Kofi, listening on Love 99.5 in Kumasi. Back to Accra, to Adenta. Ben is on the line. Good morning, Ben. Good morning, Amazi and the crew in the office. Um, so, basically... I would like you to look at the statistics, okay? Mm -hmm. Um, Let's look at the divorce rates. Who initiate divorce? Women, globally. So that tells you a lot. Those who sacrifice for relationships. Whilst men fight for it, 
women always go and initiate the divorce cases. Thank you very much. Hmm. Ben, I wanted I wanted a little on and the statistics that you shared, but you said globally, so maybe I'll just leave it that. Uh, who initiates divorce? Yes. The, 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 yeah. The study. Yeah, you need to justify Daniel, Daniel that. Fact checker. Oh, Daniel, um, is Daniel is in Medina. Good morning, Daniel. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not disputing. I just want what is factual. Well, that, Daniel, that, good morning. Good morning, yes. Mama V. How are you? Oh, very well, Daniel. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. Great. I see. Mama you. V, don't don't argue with the women. I'm a man. Now, what women go through, you cannot compare it. Oh. What women do, Mama V. Hmm. I've seen my mother go through a lot. But the interesting thing is, they don't come. What a woman, the pain a woman can take. For her children not to leave a marriage, men cannot do that. Just look around these days. Single mother, single mother, single mother. And I'm even getting worried about so mama. My prayer is with you. You win the battle today. God bless you. God bless you too, Daniel. Thank you. Emmanuel is in Accra. Good morning, Emmanuel. Uh, good morning, Mama. Yes, Emmanuel. You're good. Yeah, I'm good. How about you? Oh, very well, thank you. Yeah, um, I'm at the side of Winston because okay. um, men sacrifice more than the women. You ask that I should justify it? Yes, Emmanuel. <laughs> yes. Um, look at a man. Uh, um, when a man has money, women pretend that they are sacrificing. You understand? But then when the money is gone, then they, stamp, they, they, they try to... Uh, show you where the power lies. So on this base, I, I'm, I'm justifying that uh, men uh, sacrifice more than the women. They are doing this thing on condition. Women do these things on condition. So please, um, the women should give us a break. Hey. All right, yo. Emmanuel, take the break. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Auntie, yeah. <laughs> oh, Nancy, yeah, joins us. Good morning, Auntie. Yeah. How are we? Oh, by God's grace, so. We're surviving Listen, these men. Today, the women, from day one, we carry you, my man. <laughs> Can you carry? Mama <laughs> <laughs> Yes, Atiyah. Yeah. Ask them, can they carry? They can't even talk. <laughs> we breastfeed. Oh, at times, you see them sleeping and... <laughs> bye bye. <laughs> I'll see ya. Thank you. Uh, let's go to Mampong. Uh, Asante Mampong. And Bishop is joining us. Good morning, Bishop. Good morning. Uh, am I talking to Mama V or? Yes, Bishop. You're talking to Mama V. Winston is here. Raymond is here as well. We, we still, yeah, we still Raymond. Yeah. I want to start from the Garden of Eden. And uh, Adam had to be put to sleep. Mm. That's a sacrifice. Then this painful surgery yeah. to remove his rib. And that's the beginning of sacrifice to create who? Mm. If a woman has the biggest sacrifice uh, and the issue of uh, Joseph, when he uh, Mary was betrothed to, to him. Issue a big sacrifice when he got to know that something was happening until the angel revealed to him. That's big sacrifice. And men are always quiet. They sacrifice and uh, some quiet. So if we want to talk about sacrifice, men sacrifice. Women only sacrifice when the benefit is on their side. I don't want to go far. I know Winston and Raymond, and they will understand what I'm saying. Very well. Mama, you will only pretend not to understand. Mm. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Bishop. And Ben in Adenta is back. Okay, so Ben, I understand <laughs> you you are back with some data. Yeah, exactly. So okay. thank you very much, Mama V, once again. So when you look at the statistics, you requested for it, about 70% of all divorces 
are initiated by women. But that's not said again. Right. You see, right. women don't just enter into a relationship. Women will look at you. What do you do? Have you ever asked a man, asking his fellow man, hey, your girl, what does she do? Where does she work? How do we do that? I mean, what we do, basically, we see you, we like you, we're in a relationship with you, we marry you. The woman will ask you, what do you do? Where do you work? Do you have money? Can you take care of me? So you ladies always enter the relationship because what you're going to benefit from. In that much as I agree that you do sacrifice. Yes, I agree. So I would never lie about that. You do sacrifice. Childbirth is a lot of risk you take to in mm. giving birth to um, kids. But let's take the statistics. Women always go to relationship because they can benefit something. That's why you guys are in relationship. So please, the guys are taking over. Please. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you too, Ben. Thanks particularly for calling back. Uh, Paulina is in Abokobi and Paulina will be our last caller. Good morning, Paulina. Good morning, Mama V. Mm, Paulina. Mama V, so far, we see himself look that he's lying. I mean, the men, they know they are being unfair. Mm. I mean, women, the sacrifice we put in into our families, it involves our health and our lives. As for working and money, day, tell everybody can bring money any day. Mm -hmm. We work and support with money as well. How many Ghanaian men go to work, come and help their wives in the kitchen with their children? But we may we go to work, we come home and do all those things to keep the family running. But they would not have a pocket, I would say I'm sacrificing so much. How does this involve your health and your life? Mm -hmm. So, men, me I'll say, give us the break. Paulina has said it all. There's uh, nothing for she, me to she add. She didn't take the break, eh? Yeah. This is too unfair. You see, you, know, you, you see, this is just what I was saying. Uh, well, now you want to put words in my mouth? Oh, but, I mean, as you did to the man, yeah. I was expecting you to do the same to the woman. No, 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 no. Ba, ba, he ba, said ah. he, he, he needed a break. I oh, said he could take the break. Yes. <laughs> Mama, is he being biased? She said you should give us a break. Oh, please. You're very biased. I'm not. <laughs> Helen of Troy, mm -hmm. an entire city, a great city by all standards and qualification, was destroyed to shoot, promote one single woman. Huh? You know what I'm trying to say? A, the, the, the entire concept of a big beautiful, wonderful city of Troy was destroyed because of Helen of Troy. People were sacrificed, soldiers who had no business going to war because of a single woman. So I understand you perfectly. Women sacrifice, but the historical data does not support predominantly that they do more than the men. I mean, of course, because of the thinking, and see, I did example of the Mother's Day, Father's Day. I've not seen any man fight for Father's Day before. No. No, it's because... Oh, you've been you're, fighting, you're, you're except that you haven't won. You think you're doing a sacrifice in a way that it should not be acknowledged before you consider it a sacrifice. Because you believe that we are doing it for ourselves and for a bigger cause. Men, if they don't do their jobs, they are very irresponsible people. Mm -hmm. In fact, on Father's Day, the criteria is for responsible fathers. Yeah, responsible fathers. Nobody raises responsibility when it comes to Mother's Day. Mm -hmm. It's because the standards are very high for men. That's why I understand you perfectly. That when women do the ordinary things in the course of their ordinary engagements, it's considered to be a big sacrifice. But going out of your way to do more, ah, bah. You agree perfectly. So you make it sound like sacrifice is a bad thing, you know? No. Sa sacrifice is actually healthy, okay? And, and it goes a long way yes. to say what a person. You know, like how you value a relationship, yeah. and I'm just Especially saying when that. that and I, and oh, yeah, you're becoming a distraction. This <laughs> <morning>. <laughs> um, um, guys, let's go. Hey. Cool. Guys, let me let me check the verdict. I mean, yeah. Oh important. yes, yes, yes. Oh, um, let me check. If you start from the top, me, yes. I counted only three. Yes. Two women plus a man supporting a the woman. There were yes, three um, that were for the woman. Oh, then I think uh, uh, so. It's like the rest no, are all for three men. women: Antia, Paulina, Joa. Oh, yes, one man. So four. Yes. So let's count. You uh, know that's the four. Oh, hold on. No, one, let's two, three, four, five, six. Oh, please so take your time. Let's start from the top. I just want to mention one, two, three, four. Anyway, um, Samuel Mbura is making it very difficult for me to. 
um, you know, uh, count. Yeah, so just, just leave it at that. It should just, just do the tally for us and just put it on. Exactly. Yes, just tell us the number of people have called. That's all. We can do the calculation. Minus four is the number. Minus four is the number. You know, just like you reduce everything to money, <laughs> you're reducing this to numbers. That's fine. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's, it's absolutely oh. right. For the first and time on this show, this is the first Adjua. time I'm seeing was Adjua who said that you, you guys know, you know the truth. You're just pretending. 60% of the And taking a certain agree. position for the sake of arguments. Okay, 60% that's, of the callers agree. I agree. 60% of the callers agree. quantify that? 60%. Oh, but, 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 but listen, here is the thing. What I do Are know is that women sacrifice a lot. We don't complain. Do you have a comment on the 60%? That's why you underestimate the sacrifices comment of on women. That that's no, fine. Do you, do you uh, we sacrifice because we're proud of our relationships. Honorable member, member, 60%. Comment. Yes. Do you have a comment on it? I don't have no comments. No comments. I just said it Okay, all. let me say, let me say a special... And say I topped it. Let me say a special good morning to uh, Susan Eduamankwa. And I think it was ah, Daniel. Okay. Let me say a good morning Susan to Susan knows. Eduamankwa. Yes, yeah, Susan. She, she's Edu she's given you a piece of her mind, huh? She hasn't given me any piece of her <laughs> mind. Yeah, just good morning, you are. Just good morning, you are. She's given me a piece of her mind. Oh. Uh, if, voice, if voice notes are sent while I'm on it, how can I hear? <laughs> yeah, yes. How yes. can I listen to them? Stay with us. We'll be right back after these messages.